this event. This is the way, step by step by step. Implementation, not education, not information, certainly not features and benefits. Make them hungry for what you got. You got the best implementation community in the world. Section three, section three. Sell the problem you solve, not the product. When you're talking with somebody, whether it be a real estate deal, a bank, somebody you're getting, uh, uh, want to invite into the community here at Renatus, sell the solution to the problem, not the product. If you don't know what that problem is, create one by making them hungry. They're working a nine to five that they hate. They spend, you know, uh, an hour and a half in a car and then 10 hours in a cubicle and then an hour and a half in a car. No way to live. No way to live. Build that problem. Make them hungry. They might say, I got a great life. I'm going to spend 40 years, 40, 40 years at this company, and if I put a million dollars away in my 401k plan, I'm going to retire. The problem with that is 40 years that you're not with your loved ones, not with your family, not writing books, not making music, not making love. <laughs> I was throwing that out there. For, that was for Kohler. That was for Kohler. Solve the pro uh, problem by the, creating the solution. The solution is Renatus. The solution is Renatus. And so you have to build also discontent. And that's where the science starts to come in, discontent. And understanding what that is, where your posture is in this sales process. Someone once explained this to me and when I'm selling something. It's like I've got a life preserver, somebody's drowning in the water, and I'm dangling this in front of them. Do you want this? I got the life preserver. Wrong move. The move is I was drowning just like you. I can show you the way. This is the way. That's how you get somebody out of that scenario. Because you've got rapport build, but you have to show them the way. People need to be shown. They want to be shown. And then finally, urgency. If someone's having a heart attack, and they go to the urgent care of the hospital or the emergency room, we don't have to deal with urgency there, right? Someone's having a heart attack and they say, well, you know, they're, they're, uh, the doctors and nurses are working on them. The person on the table is not saying, well, you know, what is all this going to cost me? You know what? Let me talk it over with my wife a little bit here. Do you, can you email me some information? <laughs> right? That sounds foolish, right? That's why those decisions that are made in the ER, there is no decision. They move forward because the urgency is so high. You, uh, if you want to get good at this, you're going to want to drive that urgency to these solutions. And so a couple of things here as I'm wrapping up. The science of sales. I use oxycotton, cortisol, dopamine, endorphins, and adrenaline. You're my thinking, well, that's how he's lost all the weight. I don't use them all in one day, though. I spread them out a little bit. I'm just playing. In our brains, there's a pharmacist. In our brains, there's a pharmacy. And so all of these things have chemistry that goes on. Oxycontin, the relationship hormone. Uh, cortisol, the stress hormone. When mammals are stressed, cortisol is produced in the brain. Dopamine and endorphins is the pleasure hormone. And then finally, uh, adrenaline is the excitement hormone. You want to start stirring these chem chemicals in the brain. Let me go through this real quick. When brains are flooded with the stress hormone cortisol, on a long-term basis, it inhibits 
the function of the prefrontal cortex. You didn't think I was getting that technical, but I am. Leading to excessive activation of the reward center of the brain, triggering the excessive uh, baking, drinking, smoking, and shopping. But when you put somebody's brain in the sales process in a little bit of a stressful mode, that's the best time to introduce your solution to their problem. You make them hungry, you make them starving, and then you give them a hamburger. You give them the hamburger, doesn't necessarily have to be that good, and they're gonna be all over that. To them, that's gonna taste like the best hamburger in the world. Uh, Robert Caldini wrote the book Influence. It's a, it's a must read if you're looking to influence people in sales. Uh, but the interesting thing here is the process of arranging for recipients to be receptive to a message, Renatus, receptive to a message before they encounter it, strategically guiding preliminary attention to move prospects into an agreement. I want to move forward with the Renatus. Who do I write the check to? Here's my credit card. Let's roll. You've got to prepare that soil first to move forward. You've got to prepare that soil first to move forward because that's how you will get the sale. That's what I train on. That's what I help people do. And so lastly, two things. Imagine throwing the best seed onto any old ground. It's only going to grow if the soil is good enough to yield nutrients. Take care of the soil in your sales process and you're going to do really, really well here at Renatus and with your real estate investing. So finally, you've got a decision to make. You've got a decision to make. From this point on, are you going to hunt field mice? Are you going to hunt an antelope or a gazelle? One or two, you tell me. An elephant, an elephant. nice. Overachiever over here on the right side. I like that. Guys, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Thank you so much for the award, Bob, and uh, everybody here. Jay, thank you so much. I enjoyed my time. We will talk to you real soon. Thank you so much. Wow, Mr. John Dessauer.